extent that we went into somebody training, we work out of a sort of a um, deprivation model, feeling like we're starving and we don't have enough and we want more, all right? So let's take love relationships, that's a good one. You fall in love with someone. That person awakens in you or allows you to touch the place in you where you are loved. So you say, I am in love. And because that person did it for you, you say, I am in love with you. So you say to your connection, let's build a nest. And where will you be next Tuesday? And for the rest of our every Tuesday from here on out, and where were you last night? And who are you thinking about now? And you get terribly frightened that you're gonna lose your connection. Because if you lose your connection, you won't feel that feeling any longer, which you're very hooked on. You begin to open to that place in yourself where you are loved, which is the same as the one that's called awareness. It's the same thing. It's a feeling where you are one with the universe and you're liquid and flowing with everything around you. Now you are experiencing in love. And then after a while you say, well, I'm going down to the store to get some tofu and veggie burgers. See? And you're at the checkout counter you're still in love. You see, you're in this place because you're resting in it now and you look into the eyes of the checkout person and there it is again. Problem. Well, now what are you going to do? Are you going to look at anybody else? It's going to get complicated. You better start wearing glasses with mirrors facing inward because you're going to start a commune. I mean, it's, you, what you're going to do sooner or later is you're going to have to let go of the model of deprivation that you've been functioning under. Because as you start to rest in this other space of your being, you're going to find this peculiar feeling that you're going to start to be in love with everybody. You obviously can't collect them all. And you get to the point where you can walk down the street and look at somebody and love them like you've never loved anybody before, and you don't have to do a thing about it. At first, you can't believe it, you see, and you just want to save them in case you want them later. So you say, like, who are you? My name is Dick. Hi, let's have dinner. Well, gee, oh, God, I hate to leave you, but I... Then later, you just go, and you go down the street, and you go, hi, or ooh, or oh, do you feel what I feel? Or, and then after a while, you just walk down the street, and you look at your lovers, and you don't have to do anything about it, because you're not going to run out. <laughs>